So in this problem, we're given a cylinder with the volume density of uh, a r squared. That's just a constant. And we're trying to find the electric field at uh, this particular radius inside of the cylinder. And uh, that's really important. So this is going to change our answers, our formula for what we're going to do for when it's outside the cylinder as well. But in both cases, we're going to be using this formula, which is uh, the Gaussian uh, situation, which charge over that. And uh, this is going to be the surface area of the Gaussian, the Gaussian area that we're going to create. So just keeping that in mind is going to help us to solve for both the situations. So the density of this is equal to um, charge divided by volume, right? So let's try to figure out the volume of uh, what we have inside. So that's just going to be uh, volume is, um, we can think of it kind of like this. Here is, here's a cylinder, and obviously we're going to have the circumference at the top uh, multiplied by the length right along here, but it's also going to be done a lot of times. So we're going to go from zero all the way to the radius, and it'll create a big volume. So integrate from zero to radius, two pi r l t r. And that's what we're going to use for the bottom. So we could say that Q equals uh, PV. We could substitute P in for that. And we'll get that Q is equal to AR squared. And then there's going to be an integral on the volume. So we're going to go 0 to R. There's one R there. We'll turn that into a 3. We've got the 2 pi L dr. We're going to pull out all the constants. So it's just going to be A l 2 pi and then 0 to r r to the third so that's just going to integrate pretty easily down to q equals um we would say um r to the fourth and then there's just going to be the a l and then pi and i think there's going to be divided by two at the end over here so it's just kind of finishing the integral here for q that's what we're going to plug in here what's the gaussian area at this point, it's going to be the imaginary area right in here. And that's going to be the same R we're using here. So we can just basically say that it's E times 2 pi R. Uh, the area is, is, don't forget the L. And then we have equals, the uh, cosine goes away, um, A L pi R to the fourth divided by 2 epsilon. And this will go to that side, so we get 2 pi r l here. This will cancel, and this will cancel, and this will become a 3. So we get the final answer here is a r to the third divided by 4 epsilon naught. And this is for part 1. So the solution to this one is just going to be e equals 0 0.319 newtons per coulomb. Now that's going to be the solution for the first problem, and in the second half, we're going to use a very similar type of integral. But this time, let's realize that when we integrate this stuff, q equals a l pi r to the 4, um, that radius is going to be this. Because now that we're outside here, the Gaussian area is going to change to this. We're going to get a big cylinder on the outside. So that r... And that R are not the same R's. Okay, we're gonna. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make this in red because this R and this R are not the same R's, even though they seem like it would be the same R. Here it was the same R because we just needed that much from there. But now that we're out here, this R is gonna stop. The charge is gonna stop here. There's no charges out here, so we're not gonna include that into our integral for the volume. Um, so we're gonna use capital R divided by two on this side we would literally do the exact same integral but this time we're using capital r because that's the maximum radius that we can use for that and over here for this new equation that we're going to use the small r because it's now the radius of the gaussian sphere which is out here this is small r this is capital r making sense okay cool so we got that and then the cosine is going to go away and then we have a l pi r to the fourth divided by two and then here's epsilon naught okay and again that's because uh 
the 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 volume that we're going to integrate for here this charge is done at this particular point there's no more charge on the outside so we have to stop our integral of charge the integral of charge one is here that's going to stop that's the charge it's going to stop there and then over here this gaussian area that's going to be this big area so you need a different radius because radius one and radius two awesome so we'll put this on the other side a two pi rl this will go away this will go away and we're left with e equals a capital r to the four divided by four epsilon naught and then small r so once we plug that into our calculator we're just going to go um 2.3 e to the negative six times the capital r which is supposed to be this one 0 0.032 to the fourth power and then on the bottom we have four times epsilon naught which is that, negative 12 and then times a the little r is supposed to be the the, the bigger radius actually <laughs> but yeah 0 0.041 bam so that'll give us our answer of e equals 1.66 um times uh, and here's a good newtons per coulomb and that's going to be the radius at that particular point. So this is kind of a crazy problem. Hopefully that wasn't too, uh, too difficult to understand. <laughs>